Hello, I'm Jessica and I'm going to show you how to take a shower bath in a RV or in my case a trailer, a truck trailer. First, my water has been heating up for about 15 minutes if you do electric and I have the choice to do electric or gas so it's about maybe 10 minutes for gas and 15 for electric. I haven't timed that out exactly, but those are my guesses. Obviously I wouldn't be in a bathing suit to take a bath, but given the circumstances, um, this curtain is for show. I usually just sit down here. I have a cat that tears it up. So I take this and this is the shower nozzle. It also has a switch here that turns the water on uh, full blast. Or it turns it on a trickle. And this is what I use to take my baths. One, to save money. Well, not money. To save um, water. And the other is so I don't wash water down the, the drain. I like to use the least amount of water I can. So with this I you know, just start getting my hair wet and it takes quite a while. And if you have hookups, use as much water as you want. I mean, for water conservation, don't use as much water as you want. Be kind, but my setup is I am not hooked up to anything. So once my tanks are full, I hook up to my truck and go dump my trailer. I've gotten it down using, using this method, using trickle to wash dishes, teaching my kids how to trickle as well. Uh, I've gotten it down to dumping my trailer every maybe month, maybe a month and a half if I'm out doing a lot of other things and going on trips, not, not in my trailer all day. All right, so my hair is adequately wet. And I get my shampoo, some shampoo in. You could either rinse right away, rinse your shampoo out, but that's another, that's an extra step, rinsing. So I do my shampoo and my conditioner at the same time. How do I get in there? And I shed a lot. So all this extra hair I like to make hair art with. Now I have my shampoo, I have my conditioner and I let it sit, my body is wet now from my hair. So I take my little loofah scrubby, get it wet with the water I have down here, which I'll show you in the end. I don't use a lot of water. You have a lot of hair everywhere. So I get my scrubby wet put some soap on and start scrubbing. Scrub my body down. Get all clean. say I scrubbed everything. So everything's scrubbed. And I'm soaked up, ready to rinse off. Right? 
So I start with my head and I rinse all the soap and the conditioner off. This probably takes the most time with the trickle. It might not be worth it to you to trickle. I just find that uh, less maintenance, less maintenance for me. Maybe it takes a little extra time, but have a goal of a lot less maintenance. And what else? So I have uh, two kids and I take them baths in here, really quick baths. I'll make another video on the kid baths, but very similar. I have them sit in the bath. I use the full, the full blast and I uh, get them all wet. And then rinse all their soap off or get them all wet, soap them up, soak their hair up, get them all soaked up. And if you've heard of a navy shower or a navy bath, I think this is what they're talking about, something something to this degree. Just get them all soaked up and then rinse them off. And I end up using a little bit more water with them and there has been a lot of trial and error with um, water temperature as well. getting it to the right temperature and that uses a lot of water. I keep mine on full hot, so I'll, I only have the, the heat turned on right now. It is a little, it's a little hot for me, but I also like it pretty hot. So rinsing all the soap out and pulling more of my hair out. <laughs> And while I'm rinsing my hair out, my body just starts kind of to rinse off as well. And this is really fun in the winter when it's cold. I turn the, that's one thing you should, you should do. You should have the heat on full blast because that water may be hot, but the air is not, and you really feel the difference. It's chilly. Just rinsing off. Um, let's see what else. Oh, another thing. The water that I leave in here, my my uh, tub is plugged right now, and the water that I do use, most of it doesn't go down the drain anyway. I grab a little, a little cup, and I scoop it all up, and then I dump it outside in my plants. That has been another big dump saver. Elongates the time before dumpages. It's really not too bad dumping. It probably takes three solid hours and my house ends up everything brought, everything moves around and the cabinets, everything falls in the cab inside the cabinets. You can close the cabinets but everything falls inside and but I take it as a day of really deep cleaning. Okay, so I am rinsed off and um, it's been about it's been almost 10 minutes so about a 10 minute shower but when you take when you think about taking a 10 minute shower think about how much water you use. And then also, if you shave your legs, what I do is I turn the water off, so I'm done with the water. I sit up here, and then I use this water to shave my legs. 
shaving cream, shaver, armpits, whatever, whatever you do. And that's it. That's how you take a trailer bath. One more thing, I want you to check out how much water I've used. Come look. <laughs> it's not much. It's pretty dirty, but I was also not sitting in it. And that is all. Thanks for watching.